Yes, mate, welcome back to the channel and it is all kicking off with Apex Technologies merger with Avpoint. Yesterday's video, we acknowledged the fact that they had submitted an 8K form to the SEC and then we were waiting on the 10K amendment form to be submitted and we were hoping, or I said yesterday, that in order to perhaps hit that end of June uh, merger date, which is possible at the moment, obviously nothing's guaranteed, but if they did want to hit that end of Q2 um, merger date, then I did think the amended 10K needed to be submitted in the next week or so. That was yesterday's video. As soon as I uploaded that video, I had a look on the SEC's website and the 10K form had been submitted from Apex Technology. So that's two forms in two days that the SEC have received from Apex Technology in regards to the merger. So the 10K amendment form is the actual financial statement, the amendment of the warrants being reclassified as liabilities instead of equity on the company's balance sheet. So that is what the 10K is, it's the financial document. And they state at the beginning of the 10K document in the notes section that Apex Technology are filing this amendment of its annual report on Form 10K because on April the 12th, 2021, the SEC issued a public statement that certain terms and conditions common to SPAC warrants may require the warrants to be classified as liabilities on the SPAC's balance sheet as opposed to being treated as equity. So that is why when the 8K was submitted two days ago, and we covered it in yesterday's video, and that document was acknowledging the fact of this change um, in how warrants were to be classified, we knew then that an amended 10K form would need to be submitted. As soon as I posted that video, the form got submitted, which is all good. So that is now with the SEC for review. So the next steps are, I believe a possible S4 amendment may need to be submitted, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But if it is needed, I do believe then that that is the last form, to my knowledge, that needs to be submitted to the SEC for review. And then once that review has taken place, I don't think there's anything then stopping Apex Technology and Avpoint actually producing a date for the merger vote to take place. So there you go, guys. The merger is another step closer to the finish line. As always, if you are new, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you did enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.